Okay, we have a really fun problem in this program, and we're going to be able to solve it in a pretty small amount of time, uh, even though it seems pretty complex. So problem 25 from Project Euler asks for the thousand-digit Fibonacci number. Now, if your math is a little rusty, the Fibonacci number is part of the Fibonacci sequence, and we have an example one right here. Uh, essentially, all you do is it's a sequence where you add the number plus the number that preceded it in the sequence, and that becomes the next number in the sequence. So in other words, uh, one plus one is two, so two is the next number. Two plus one is three, so, so three is the next number. And you go all the way down the line, uh, 21 plus 13 is 34, so that's the new number here. 34 gets added to 55, and you keep going down the chain. These numbers can get absolutely massive in a very short period of time because they essentially pile on each other exponentially. So the uh, the 12th term here is F12 is the first term to contain three digits. As you can see, it is equal to 144. So that's three digits. What we need to do is what is the index of the first term in the Fibonacci sequence to contain a thousand digits so that's what we have to find and I even though it seems like it'd be pretty complicated I think you'll see once we get into it uh, it's actually pretty doable with Ruby so first thing I'm gonna do is uh, create a, a, a method and so we're gonna call it the Fibonacci digit counter and I'll close it out and first set up some variables so I'm gonna say num1 num2 and then i and i is going to be uh, our iterator variable and set these equal to negative 1 0 and 1 and you'll see in a second why we need to do that i'm going to create a while loop and i'm going to iterate over the digit value of i so how would we get that we want to convert i to a string and then call the length method on it to get the total number of digits there and we're going to keep going until we have a uh, until that value equals a thousand so the first thing I'm going to do inside the while loop is increment the value of num1 by one and that's going to just keep getting iterated through uh, each time and uh, uh, that's all that that has to do that's all we need num1 for and this is going to be our counter to actually say what that answer is going to be so num1 is actually going to be what is going to be the answer to the problem but it doesn't actually do anything with the fibonacci uh, part of the problem the fibonacci portion is going to be managed down here where we say i and then uh, we have num2 and set that equal to num2 num2 plus i okay so right here we have i and that's mapped to that's going to be set to the value of num2 num2 is going to be set to the value of num2 plus i if you come back here and look at our sequence that's essentially all this is doing is it's taking the previous value adding it to the next one the sequence and then that becomes the new one that it's uh, uh, going to be the next time it goes and so this is a recursive problem that's just going to keep on going until it hits that value and then I'm going to return num1 and then print out the Fibonacci number and see what this or the digit counter and see if this works. So let's open up Project Euler number 25. There you go, 4,782. And that is the correct answer. So great job if you went through that.